down. That's why I'm here. Down. So, what you get? I love mine. Yeah, no, that's the people who get who came to Grace Hill Park. They get a present. Do they know they get? They know they get a present. They don't know what it is. Oh, you're gonna die. Sure, just because we don't die, but you'll be so excited. <laughs> know me. I raise llamas and goats. Why? I don't know. Um, it's sort of kind of like, I, when, when I want to be a smart aleck, I tell people they were out of dogs that day, which is not true. Um, I moved on to uh, uh, some acreage and wanted some animals, and I grew up on a farm a hundred years ago, and I just wanted some animals. You forget when you want one. It's sort of kind of like you get a puppy. You're going to grow up. You're going to, they're going to be around a long time. There's a whole lot of cleaning. There's a whole lot of tending. And oh, I guess I thought I'd just have it for a weekend. And then, well, anyway. Long story short, I now have seven llamas and four goats. We just recently lost one of our old female llamas, and I just lost my little boy goat. Um, so, but I just buy more. It's pathetic. So I raise. Um, Mamas and guys, for no purpose other than the pure joy of acting. So anyway, I have, have the llamas and the goats, and I, I was talking to the girls up front a little bit earlier. For those of you who don't know me, I have been doing this for a long, long time. So if you haven't seen me anywhere, I don't know, I've been about everywhere, it seems like. Um, this last couple of years, I decided to slow down because I'm not really old. I thought, okay, I'm going to slow down a little bit because I have worked. I mean, on any given year, I would be on the road six or seven months out of the year total, maybe even more. So I was just not cool enough to do anything, but I finally realized I wanted to be home more. So in, from about the first part of 16 up until, I mean, I did a few gigs last year and a few this year, but not one fifteenth of what I would normally do. And I was telling some of the girls earlier, it, this is the first year that I put a garden in and I don't even remember the last time I put a garden in. I forgot how prolific zucchini <laughs> <laughs> Me and I wish somebody had been there when I bought zucchini plants. I'm great in zucchinis a day, for goodness sakes. I have enough frozen to give the food bank zucchini bread all winter. That's how many zucchini. And I finally realized that my animals like it if I cut it up. So I was even taking it to the farm, but I'd go out there one day and it'd be that long, and I'd go out there the next day and it was all that. Where was I when this happened? I forgot about that. So I did zucchini and cucumbers. So the things that are prolific, and I put up enough red water pickles, even the UPS man got some. So that's the kind of year that I had. Did all my own, I live on eight acres, and I did a ton of landscaping and a ton of just, no, I mean, just fun stuff. So for fun, did, I mean, did a, a lot of, I'm a big journaler. Um, I love anything that's to do with paper, as, almost as much as I love fabric. So, so the one, so talk, talk to us about your fabric. What fabric do you have at home? And what, and what, what do you really want to do? Do it like it on today? You know, what, what, what's your fabric saying to you at home? Well, I'm a world of you buy me. That's what mine's going to say. Sew me, sew me, okay. So pretty. That's what do you need so more? Of? Do you need more ideas? Good thing you carved out the time. I'm not saying you're one of the people who carved out the time in the next four days to be here. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Good job. So, so what is your fabric saying to you at home? Use me. Use me. Okay. How are you doing for ideas for that? That's our weekend. Yeah. This weekend. But it is time. Don't you think time is for those of you who are still working, and even if you aren't about working where you get a paycheck, and if you, even if you aren't, there's still other things that call on your time. So I, I sort of make time to stuff. I mean, I have to because it's part of what we do. I mean, like the store has to, we have to. But even when I don't have to, I make time to sew because I have all that fabric that, I mean, I love looking at it stacked up, but I like it a whole lot better when it's in the world. Is use it. If you just collect it, while it's a joy to look at, it's not near as much fun as it is when you start cutting it. And there's so many, we're gonna to talk to you in class a little bit, and we will a little bit uh, to, uh, today as well, 
but about how to speed up your work. So we've got specialty rulers, and then I'm sure if you've been a, playing around here very long, you all know the AccuQuilt method, the easier to cut, the quicker to cut, to get it cut, and sew it up. That's the stuff that I think is, is what we need to be doing a little bit more of. Collect it, yes, but use it. And I mean, as much fun as it is to see it sitting in the closet, I, I mean, I know people who say, oh, I just can't cut that. I just can't cut it. Well, then what in the world would you have bought it for? It's sort of like having an apple you can't eat. Out of a six inch cube, the three and a half inch square, is that a six inch cube and it's out of the 12 inch cube. So there's all my fabric. That's about how much waste I have. Now, some people get really wigged out about that. I'm over it. I, I like fabric. Well, you would waste that much cutting. You waste yeah. the cutting, right? Oh, so you got a drunkard's path? Too. Yes, a drunkard's path. And then this one, Kay uses this everywhere. Oh, God, I, I love it. It's a dugout. It's Remember a dugout. the borders I was telling you? Like the dugout on the, the border on that purple quilt is done. But that, it's one of my favorite mm -hmm. borders. So, so when you finish, That one is done that yeah. way? Yeah. So when you finish up with a quilt and you have that leftover fabric, here's my contention. Take all of it, stack it up here, cut these cut these runs out, and then put your corners on there based on whatever your light pieces are left over. So bias know. triangle. This is an eight inch bias triangle, so storm at sea. The half rectangle that fits on these. This is the work we're gonna be doing on Sunday, but we'll definitely show you how to do these. So these fit with the eight inch cube. Because, but it's only four inches tall, so that's right. it's a four inch square, that's but it's right. gonna work with the eight inch units, okay. So this one is the kite, mm -hmm. and these two friends fit on either side of these. That yeah. builds the ice cream cone. Yeah. 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 This is one, this is one, so, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. okay. With four, four squares, it has this thing. All different, different fabrics in different locations adorable. in each one. Adorable. Yep. I'm just watching. Oh, okay. Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Once you, you get used to it, you'd be like, I've fallen out of my chair so <laughs> trying to reach my lip. It's great. It's, it's a too. video that we that I got here that's got the floral stuff on it. <coughs> so, but I I got, I got no. stopped yes. because I Ooh, I don't know why. Oh I my just, gosh! I, I didn't know, know what to do. Whoa. Do you know? So, do you know? Like in the setting triangles. I'm I'm, I'm a big fan of something like this. Is this bad? Like to put it into? Excuse me. To put it into a, um, like even into a border. You may not want to do. I mean, this this is good. That's actually really good. I like that piece. Well, I think what she's saying though is because they're vertical pieces, mm -hmm. and and if you put them in the side set, you have more space in the east west line than you do the north mm -hmm. south line. Mm -hmm. I mean, because if I, you, but you want them to read north south. Well, at the time, of course, this has been a while ago, and I finally got frustrated with it, and I folded it all up. So I haven't had it out for a while until I knew you were coming. Well, just pitch me. And so I, any did, two. I didn't know. I didn't know what the dimensions. I didn't know how to figure it. I and then so then I I read through the book again, and I realized. Well, these are her four. These are her big ones. So this is not where she would set it, but the issue becomes when she's doing this is ideally you'd like it to be this direction right. mm -hmm. on these flowers i would i think mm -hmm. but she's going to do that on the smaller blocks these are the blocks that live in the middle row mm -hmm. those are right. the blocks that live in the outside rows i think you could pull it off but i like what jill is saying as well that it just mm -hmm. becomes um I love the embroidery though. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You it would also make a stunning quilt all by itself. It would be. <laughs> well, and that's what happens. Sometimes you start one quilt and With you your realize you're making quilt. My butterfly yeah. border yeah. in between the rows. Um, oh, see, nice. see, you have so much beautiful things going on. Maybe see, you don't need the and the she decided to I do this. I wonder if maybe I'm putting yeah. in too much. You know, this oh, would be pretty yeah. even yeah, with yeah. just a setting. Like there's some. I'm trying to think. The which book is the basket quilt from? Okay, uh, scrappy patches, pinwheels. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, if you were to take these flowers and put them into a setting like that, <coughs> just into a into a square, mm -hmm. and then put go around them. I think you'd have a really stunning piece. I think it's too. I quilts. love the choice of color. Mm -hmm. I, love, I really I love think it's too quilts. Two quilts.
good business sense, the way they put things together, the way they handle you, your customers, the way the store looks. I don't know, I mean, if some of you don't live here. I know you gals traveled in from Green Bay. Well, I'm telling you, but you've been to the store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you, I mean, they have, yeah, you have stock in it. It's just like, you have stock, I get it. But, but not all stores are equal. Not all stores are equal. And so when you find a store that really does put emphasis on good quality, good prices, good customer service, it's a joy for me as a teacher to come and work with them, plus their buddies on top of it. So, I know when it comes to, when it comes to Kay, if you notice my post lately on Facebook, it said, this is our favorite teacher. This is my favorite teacher. Kay England has changed how I sew more than anybody, anybody ever. I'm already seeing heads now. There is, there is no person that has changed as much to what I do as how Kay has. Now, part of it is, is who she is to me as a friend. But a bigger part of it is, is that she's broken down the piecing part of this to a, to a point where you understand it better and I understand it better.